Today we are going to be making an illusion. This is what the final product should look like. What is an optical illusion? An optical illusion is an image that makes you see an object or movement in a still image. Here are some illusions. In this one, some people will see a black face on the left and on the right of the screen. Others will see a white vase in the center. Which one you see depends on what color your eyes first focus on. If you focus on the black, you see faces. If you focus on the white, you see a vase. In this picture, people see a white triangle pointing downwards even though there's no outline for it. The reason is because of the cutouts in the triangles and circles. The illustrator made it seem as if there was a triangle, even though there really isn't. Now what do you see here? A duck or a rabbit? Or maybe both? The illusion was drawn in such a way that both animals can be visible and the brain can switch between which one it sees. This is a color wheel. It has all of the colors of the rainbow on it, with some more. The color wheel helps artists know what colors look good together. The colors on opposite sides of the color wheel are called complementary colors and have a strong contrast with each other. When making an illusion like this, find colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel to help make the illusion pop. To make this illusion, you will need a piece of paper, a ruler, a sharpie, and two complementary colored markers. A fine tip sharpie can also be used for some points, but it's optional. First. Think of a spot on the paper that isn't the center. This is where all of the foundational lines are going to connect. It should be between the center of the paper and one side. Then, draw about 8 to 10 lines using the ruler and sharpie. Every line should go from edge to edge of the paper and connect at the point that you thought of. They should be evenly spaced and the sections made with the lines should be of a reasonable size. Now this is where the fine tipped sharpie comes in. If you don't have one, don't worry, because the normal Sharpie will work just fine. Starting from the point made with all of the lines, mark 1 inch sections with a small dot next to the line. They should be small, but still visible. Repeat this for all of the lines. Next, we're going to start making the illusion part. We're going to make alternating facing views connecting the dots. In one section, all of the views should face up but in the next one, all of them should face down. Starting from the inner set of dots, connect two lines with a U. Go to the next dot and draw a U in the opposite direction. While doing this, the dots should be covered up with the Sharpie. Repeat this until the first set of dots are covered, and then move on to the next set. Each section should have the same facing U's, and to make the illusion look better, make the stripes made with the U's even with each other. In the end, the illusion should look like a weird spider web and none of the dots should be visible. With our two colors, we're going to create a checkerboard pattern and alternate the colors. Starting in the innermost ring, place a small but noticeable marks of one color in every other section. Move to the next ring and place small marks above every section in the inside ring. This way, we alternate the colors vertically and horizontally. Repeat this until all of the rings are filled with marks of one color. When you get to the edges, it starts becoming trickier, but if you're careful, the illusion will work. Now, wherever there is a white section remaining, place a small mark of the other color that you've picked out. Now you can start coloring the illusion. Wherever there is a mark of the first color, fully color that part with that color. There are multiple ways to go about doing this, but as long as all of the sections are colored, it doesn't matter how it's done. And that is how you make this crazy illusion. Now, the point of this is to trick your brain into thinking that some of the sections are closer to you than others, even though the paper is flat. It also feels like everything is being sucked in into the point where all of the lines connect. 